Hi guys, welcome back to Beat Beauty. I am so excited today to be sharing with you my latest makeup tutorial. I'll be showing you how to create this full makeup look with a navy blue eye using a makeup line that I just discovered called Stella. Now Stella Makeup is a brand by a woman called Monica Deal, who I was really lucky to meet recently. Um, and she is from originally from India and then was raised in Canada. She is a TV personality and she created the brand uh, because she felt like there was something missing in the market. There was something missing for women like her with a medium skin tone. It was really un underrepresented. So one of the foundations for the line is this concept of having shades to suit everyone. And so their foundation, for example, this is the Limitless Foundation, comes in 22 shades. And they're all designed to kind of match with your undertone. So you want to pick a foundation based on the undertone, whether it's sort of warmer, colder, um, and that's gonna really help to pick your perfect, most flattering shade. And you can do a sort of quiz on the Sephora website, I just discovered, where you can find out your exact shade. I was lucky enough to be able to discuss my skin tone with her in person, and she helped me pick out an S3. And I absolutely love that shade, but I'll explain that more during the tutorial. Okay, so the first thing that I wanna do is just set the foundation for the whole look. So I'm gonna start with this beautiful primer. It's called their Brilliant Primer. As you can see, I've already been using quite a lot of this. I absolutely love their complexion products and I've been using them religiously every day. Um, so this is really lovely because it's really illuminating and also hydrating. So it creates a lovely dewy sort of canvas for your makeup. And that's something that I always love. I just apply it with my fingers and it feels really, really silky smooth on the skin. I love that. So I'll just apply it all over the face, on the neck. It feels so nice and silky smooth. And then I'll let that just set for sort of 30 seconds. Now I'm ready to apply my foundation. The foundation I'm gonna use is the Limitless Foundation. And this was something when I met Monica that I talked a lot with her about because the whole thing behind this foundation is that Monica comes from a TV background and she found it really hard not only to find the perfect shade for her, but also just something that's gonna last but look radiant and beautiful and not sort of like you're too heavily made up. So this one has a sort of medium to full coverage, but it also looks really, really natural and I love that. And I love that it's sort of quite a dewy, radiant finish. So I am going to just apply this with my fingers, but you could use a you could use a sponge for really sheer coverage or you could use a brush if you wanna go for that more sort of medium, medium to full. And it's really, really buildable as well, which is something that I love. I'm just gonna get a little mirror to make sure I'm being precise here. So I like to sort of start around the nose. Everyone's different with how they like to apply foundation. I really like to use my fingers I think it's because I've been a sort of NARS makeup fan for a long time and I read that Francois NARS is really keen on just using fingers because the warmth of your skin actually helps to really blend it in to look really natural. And natural is what I really like when it comes to foundation. Natural but perfected. I just absolutely love this. It's my favorite foundation I have tried in a very long time. Plus it's really not that expensive. I think this is around $30 and you don't need very much. And the texture is just absolutely beautiful, especially when it, you use it in combination with the concealer, which has a really good coverage. It's kind of my perfect match. Great, then I'm gonna just apply some concealer. I'm not gonna do the under eye yet just because I'm gonna be doing an eye look today and I don't really want that sort of to fall and then I'm gonna have to reconceal. So I'll just conceal in the areas that have a little redness, so maybe around the nose. This is the Limitless Concealer. Again, it comes in a really impressive range of shades. And it just has a really impressive coverage level, but it still looks dewy. So I'll use it wherever I have any redness or any blemishes. It's really, really buildable. I 
I use a kind of patting motion just to really blend it into the skin. Got a little redness on my chin as well. And again, really dewy, glowing finish. And then you want to set that with a powder. And I'm going to be using the Haze powder. Their powders are really impressive. The only thing is, I seem to make such a mess with this powder puff situation. And maybe that's just me. I'm sure there's a better way of doing it. The great thing with these powders is they're designed so that you can use them for sort of a sheer light dusting of powder if you use a brush, which is what I'm going to do. But you can also use it to really sort of set makeup um, or you can use it, so if you want to set it, you might use that puff and then just dust away any excess. Or you can use it to bake, if you're familiar with that, that's this big trend. Baking your makeup so that it's really not going anywhere. But I just want to do a sort of light dusting around the nose where I've sort of concealed any redness. And then I'm going to conceal under the eyes and then really sort of powder that at the end. So, just going to dust it, particularly around the nose. I love this big fluffy brush. It's by a company called Esam and it's the X51. Get it? It's so yummy. And a really tiny amount of this product goes a long way. So if you don't want like a fully matte face, don't use a lot. But I'm going to be doing some contouring and some highlighting to add back in a bit of dimension. So I'm going to just set this nicely. Okay, next step is the eyes um, and so for the eyes I'm going to be using the magnetic eyeshadow palette and I just adore these colors I think they're so perfect for fall and that's what really inspired me for this makeup tutorial I just thought I have to share this with you I've been using it in loads of different ways so it's really really versatile and I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do a sort of blue makeup look today don't be afraid I know blue eyeshadow can sort of instill fear in a lot of people but it's a big trend this fall and you can do blue eyeshadow so that it looks very, very subtle and beautiful. Um, don't be afraid of sort of pastel blues of the 80s. This is not that. So I'm going to start off by using this brown shade here. And this is just going to form the base for the eye look. So I'm just going to get a little bit of the colour with a sort of quite broad brush. I really like this one just for applying the sort of base colour. You can see it's got really good pigment. So I only want a little bit. Got way too much there, whoops. Um, so I'd say this is definitely more of an evening look, but it would make a really lovely kind of dramatic fall or winter evening look. I'll clean that up in a sec. Just do the other eye. And I want to really blend that into the brow bone. Great. Um, next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with my Limitless Concealer again and just clean up at the top. So I just want it to really go up to the brow bone. I'm a big fan of sort of correcting as you go. So this will just add a little bit of a radiant sort of highlight. And just make sure the eyeshadow is just where you want it to be. And I'm also gonna get just a little bit of this sort of yellowy powder here and apply that over the top just to sort of neutralize that area. Give it a little extra light. Great, now I'm gonna move in with the blue and I am obsessed with this very dark blue here. It almost looks black. And to apply that one, I'm gonna do it underneath the lash line and so I'm gonna use an angled brush like this one a little bit of the product, 
tap off any excess. You don't want too much. Luckily, we haven't concealed underneath yet, so it doesn't matter if you get a little fallout. I'm just gonna really closely get that into the lash line. This sort of upside down eyeliner thing has been something we've been seeing a lot this year as well. So we're sort of following two trends with the blue and the upside down liner. And there's something really lovely about navy blue as well, as opposed to black, that it's kind of a little more flattering. It's not as harsh. It suits a lot of people. And just adds a bit of extra interest as well. Okay, and then we're going to do the upper lash line. Again, tap off any excess. Quite dramatic already. And then I'm going to get a sort of round brush like this one by Bobbi Brown. And I'm gonna use this sort of, I don't know how to describe it, I guess it's like a pewter kind of color. And I'm gonna get that one, I'm gonna apply it to the top of the liner that we just applied. And that just adds more dimension again. Got a really nice kind of glitzy, subtle kind of glitter effect. And I'm gonna work that up to the socket line. It's just so nice with this eyeshadow palette because you can get really, really creative. Sometimes I find I wanna do one look and then as I'm going along, I find a completely different look using the same colors because they're really, really versatile. I just really want to make sure that I've winged the eye out. I love that winged look. So I'll get a little bit more of that pewter color. And then I'm just going to use one of these kind of softer, fluffier brushes just to wing that out. Just really make sure I've got that shape that I want. Underneath, make sure everything's blended. When in doubt, keep blending my main tip when it comes to eyeshadow, just to really perfect it. You never want any harsh lines. And then I wanna add a little bit more blue. I want this to be sort of a very sexy sort of blue eye look. And I'm gonna use this slightly more glittery blue. So again, using the fluffier brush. Oh, I just love this color so much. Um, I'm gonna put that right in the middle here right there in the middle for some interest. I really, really like that, but I can never tell what an eye look looks like until I've concealed and highlighted, just to really, really bring it out. First thing I'm gonna apply, just a little bit of mascara. I don't have the Stella mascara. I have heard that it's amazing, um, but I'm just using one of my trusty favorites. So this is the Meron Makeup Brazer Mascara. I've mentioned this one multiple times. Absolutely love it for a little drama. Um, so I'll just apply that mainly to the top lashes and a little on the bottom. Okay, great. Now I'm ready to conceal, so I'll get my Limitless Concealer. Now the back of my hand is like <laughs> a war zone right now. Um, so I'll just get my Limitless Concealer, go under the eyes, just to clean up and out to the side, because I want to just really make sure that wing is showing up. Maybe even a tiny bit more up here. You can apply some to the Cupid's bow as well, and the cheekbones. Such a good concealer and just really, really highlighting, which I love. And again, I'll just use my fingers. Make sure you get up into the corners just to open up the eyes and look nice and awake. Okay, 
love that now i'm gonna go back in with a little bit more eyeshadow and i'm gonna use this lovely sort of light i don't know how we would describe that very light gray um and it has a really nice luminosity i'm gonna just put that in the inner corners of the eye just to really make them pop love that I mean the name of the brand is Stella and you can see why because they're really good with these kind of um, glittery very very soft subtle glittery shades really beautiful buttery textures I'm really really impressed with this brand now I'm going to do a very soft, subtle contour and highlight. I'm going to use this beautiful palette. It's the Face Sculptor palette um, in Umbra. There are two different uh, variations with the Face Sculptor palette, and this is the Umbra one. So you can check out both on the Sephora website. Um, this is the darker shade. I'm using this big, soft, fluffy brush, which may not be what you'd expect with contouring, but I just want to do a really soft, subtle contour. So I'm just going to use that on the cheekbones. Bring out the cheekbones, then warm up around the face and I always do this kind of E shape. Just really nice for that soft sculpted look. I always do the sort of weird sucking in my face. <laughs> I think it's best to just get a little product and just keep building till you're satisfied. You don't want to have any tiger stripes going on. And bring it down to the neck. And then I'm going to get some of the sort of rosy gold shade here, which I love. And I'm going to put that on the tops of the cheekbones. Just tap it in. Oh, I love that. You don't need much. It's really, really a little, goes a long way here. And then I'm actually gonna get a little bit of this middle shade with my finger. And I'm gonna add it just on top of the nose. And a little on the brow bones. A nice sort of golden highlight and then we've already put the concealer there but I'm going to add a little bit of the golden shade onto the cupid's bow too and maybe just the tip of the nose it's a very personal preference if you want to do that depending on your nose shape and there we have it I'm just going to add literally a lip balm so this is the rose petal salve that I love and I'm just going to apply that Again with my fingers, super low maintenance look. Just because I want it to all be about the eyes. Sometimes it's really nice to just have really luscious, shiny lips. You could add color, you could add a gloss. I just wanted this to be super simple for the lips. And then one last thing I'm about to forget to do is just to get a little more of our haze powder with a fluffy brush and then just go under the eyes. So look up. As I said before, you could also use this powder to set the makeup, so using the powder puff, or you could use it to bake the under eye as well. Completely up to you. But I just really like this sort of soft, subtle effect. And that's it, that is my navy blue makeup look for full using Stella makeup. I really hope that you enjoyed watching, you found it useful, it's maybe inspired you to go out and get one of their lovely palettes and test out the colours for yourself. If you want to find out more about any of these beautiful products then check out the blog on beatbeauty.com and if you like my videos please don't forget to click subscribe. Thanks so much for watching, bye guys.